Hello gardening friends, this is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing the dirt, have to take away the hurt. Today we're going to look at what's blooming in the prairie garden. All the plants and shrubs that's blooming in the prairie garden. And if we just look out, we can see we have lots of yellow in the prairie garden right now, which is just beautiful. So we have beautiful black eyed Susan. We also have, I think, tickweed. And this plant, I'm not sure what this is, but beautiful yellow flower. Okay, so just walk with us as we look at what's blooming in the uh, prairie garden at this time. Beautiful daylilies. Have this uh, steel blue of the sea holly right here. We have more steel holly, sea holly, sea holly. The blue of the sea holly. weed and that uh, sunflower look beautiful together almost look at as if it's the same plant <laughs> Uh, fountain grass, the red fountain grass. And tiger lily. Blazing star start opening up. Of course, we can see the bees already found that out. Thank you. 
I've always been trying to get a picture of these uh, yellow flower in here. But every time I come out in the afternoon, they faded. And I'm always like, how can I not get any pictures of these? What happened? Why they fade so fast? It's not until the other day that I learned that these are called evening primrose. Evening primrose. So they only flower at night. So in the morning, when the sun is out, the heat of the sun causes them to close. So I have to come out here early in the morning so I can get a shot of these evening primrose for you. They're really beautiful and they also have a light fragrance. And the beautiful thing about this flower is that they only flower at night. So night insects like bats and moth can pollinate them. So they're used for pollination by these night pollinating insects, you know, or I should just say pollinators since bats are not insects. These night pollinating, these night pollinators can come and feast on them. So they are very beautiful, but we know we have to control them. Once they get to the seed, I'd have to cut the seed off because we wouldn't want it to overtake the garden. They can be invasive in some areas. But they are very beautiful right now. I love them and I'll keep them in the garden and just uh, control them. And for the rest of the garden, still looking beautiful. With these uh, black eyed Susan. Sunflower. Still have some tick weed that we can see. Still there, the tick weed. The fountain grass looking good. The Lytris or the Blazing Star in white and also purple. So the pollinator garden is still going strong. Right as we're about to uh, start summer. So we should have other plants that should be flowering for the rest of summer. But for now, we're enjoying all these uh, beautiful plants in early, in late spring, going into early summer. So again, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, question, comment, drop a line down below. Please share this video with your friends and family because this is one way we can help the channel to grow. This is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing the dirt, but we take away the hurt. And today we just did a tour of the prairie garden. A tour of the prairie garden in late spring going into early summer. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.